A camera that changes filmmaking today. Stick around if you want to find out more. So I picked up the DJ Osmo. I just had to get my hands on this and actually play around with it because I know this has got 4K and this is a bit of a game changer. Well, it's definitely on the way to a game changer as it's 2016, you've seen a lot of products coming out and this is one that is really, really cool. This came out in 2015 but it's had a lot of firmware updates and it seems that it's ready to market and get in with the big boys. So in the box you will receive a DJI case that looks like a guitar case and inside it's got some Oxford material and it's make sure that when you're transporting your Osmo device it keeps it safe and it doesn't move around inside it's got some straps there to lock it down it's got some zips so you can obviously close it together make sure it's in there properly it's got this is all waterproof and shock resistant so if you drop it it's not going to break your device inside the DJI really did think about this as an innovation so you also get a strap as well so you can connect it and have it over the shoulder or you can do crossbody with it you get a strap to attach to the DJI Osmo device so if I put my hand in here like that and then so I was holding it like so and it drops it won't drop and fall off anywhere it'll be attached to my hand you get a charger as well and it's got that connector to charge it with you get at least a 70 centimeter cable to charge your actual battery and this battery is an intelligent battery by DJI so that means that it can tell the difference of when it's fully charged or when it's discharged and it's just really intelligent when you put it into a device like this that is very futuristic you also get loads of instructions and a quick guide as well and what else do you get just to make sure that you know you've got everything in there now let's get on with the actual device itself you obviously get the device you also get a phone mount as well that can fit big phones like iphone 6 plus or galaxy note it'll fit in there no problem you can just swing it out like this and then make sure you twist that to hold your device in and stuff and you can put it out like that and as you can see it can go pretty far and it's got rubber pads on there rubber pads on the edge and that will stop your phone from getting scratched also this phone mount is very well useful, or really useful I should say. So you can, if you've got it in selfie mode, which the camera will be facing this way, because the handle's facing that way, you could have your phone obviously this way, or your iPod this way, and you can have a look or the display what you're looking at. But when you press it three times, and it goes, no, I think it's twice, and it will go straight to the front, and then you can have it that way. So you can obviously film with it like that, and, if I turn it around you can put it so you can get it at a decent angle so if there's any sun glare you're going to be all covered by different angles now the great thing about this as well this is all metal and it looks really really nice and it's just a really premium product I'm going to tell you now the 3.5mm jack, excellent, superb, it needs it to be there for a external microphone like using a Rode or Sennheiser microphone. But the audio in here to play back itself is terrible. But it's good to obviously um, use better audio over the top to actually sync it up if you want to go down that route, you can do. So it ain't too bad, but it is bad. You can hear it back playing back on an iPhone or iPod, something like that or Android device and basically you will hear the sound and it's pretty clear enough to understand what the uh, voice would be or the sounds that you'd be listening to through the camera that you just filmed. On the back here you have a joystick and this pans the camera up and down left and right. You also got a button there to take pictures with a 12 me megapixel camera that it has installed into the camera which is a Zemos X3 camera. It also in the head it's got a 16 gigabyte card that comes with it which is a micro SD card by Lexia and it's 644 times, uh, no 633 times speed which is okay it's average but it's okay for 4K but it's only 16 gig, so you're going to probably be looking at a 64 to 128 gig SD card to film with 4K as it's bigger footage than 1080p. And I can film straight to there, or I can use the device and transfer date, well, transfer whatever video or photography that I've taken pictures of onto my device, which I've been using a iPod. 
The reason I'm using an iPod is because I didn't want to use my phone because the battery will outlast it. So if I'm going to be filming with five batteries, the phone's going to be dead in the first battery. So I've got an iPod because the iPod will outlast it and I can use the Wi-Fi constantly on here without using my phone. If I'm using my phone, it's going to be dead really quickly and it's going to be a pointless product. So get yourself an external um, device like this, which will be an iPod. I've got a 16 gig here and that's sufficient for what I need to do it with and I can offload the data onto here which I'm going to put 128 gig micro SD card which will be a fast one kudos to the Shiba for sending that out and um, I'm going to, I think it's a 64 gig actually, 64 gig to go in here and uh, yeah kudos to, to Shiba again um, I've got a 16 gig which obviously comes with this device before you obviously do anything make sure you follow the tutorials that is going to be going in the device so you're going to have to download the DJI app and follow all the instructions on there it's super easy straightforward it will take you about five to seven minutes to actually go through the whole steps of it but once you've done it just make sure that you read it and you obviously do it to the button if you don't do it to the button it's not going to work is it so i'm just going to remove the lens cap and it comes off just like that but i know don't twist it because you'll undo the glass that's on the front and the reason the glass can come off the front is because you can add filters to it as well. DJI do around two to three, four filters that go on the front here so that means you can use it in the sunlight and you can get still perfect, um, a perfect finish to your actual videos. So you can actually connect a cable to the back here which is the micro USB and most of you got them if you've got Android phones. You connect it to the back here and you can offload the data from the SD card onto your laptop or computer. And the record button should, when the firmware, when I've done all the firmware updates, it should initially turn off the motors or the fans that are inside here. So at the moment it will turn on and it will be a whizzing sort of noise which I'm going to turn on so you can hear it quickly. Actually you can't turn it on because I haven't put the battery in. So I'm about to put the battery in and it flaps up like that and it only goes in one way. So I'm going to slide it in there and then make sure that you actually lock it so that doesn't happen. Now I'm going to turn it on and give you a little listen to what this sounds like without the firmware being updated. You've got green lights to indicate obviously that the power's on. If it's red that means it's dead and I don't know what this light means yet until I get into it. But, have a listen. Right. So that's the fan at a low level. When it starts to get a little bit hotter, it'll obviously go a little bit more crazy, but it's not too crazy. But a good thing about it is when you press that record button, the record button shuts off all the fan noise, all the motor noise, and it should be superb. Now the accessories that I'm waiting for from DJI is a Z-axis to take the bump out of the footage, or I'm gonna to have to do heel to toe ninja walking to get that smooth panning motion forward. Now if I'm going left and right, that's no problem. It's superb for that. But I'm also waiting for a microphone mount so I can change the way this actual product is and I can add a microphone mount and an LED light so I can actually film in, in, in uh, darker scenes. It's also very good for dark scenes as well with the sensor that it's got in here which is quite cool. Kudos to DJI. And also I'm waiting for the microphone which is a Rode microphone. It's a very mini microphone and it's meant to pick up the vocals very good and give it a nice sort of clarity and that's what you really want obviously the microphone here is um, not very good on the actual um, Osmo, Osmo I should say. So other than that you've got a lock here which I said you can untwist it and you can take this ball head out and put an X5 in or X5 in raw which uh, DJI have just um, introduced this year. I think it's like a couple of weeks ago they just introduced it and I think you can actually buy it now. That means that you can have aperture you can ha change your lenses on there, you can change the ISO and you can tamper with everything, a normal camera what you can do with it which is really really cool. With this, this is like an entry level or yes, yeah, entry level of like using this for your films and stuff which is quite cool.
So the reason that I'm talking about all of this and you're thinking, well how does he know all of this? Because I've done my homework, I've been looking at this product since August, September time and I knew from loads of people and reviewers and people like bloggers, they're all talking about the actual noise of the actual camera was actually making noise when they press record button and there was loads of other things that it weren't correcting itself and calibrating well DJI definitely listens to all their people out there what they did is listen to everyone and create all these firmware updates and now it's the present day of uh, where are we it's April the 20th actually let me have a look at my phone it is the 25th, Monday 25th of April 2016 and we've got another update which is another firmware update and I need to put all of that on there so I can actually show you exactly what I'm talking about. But straight out of the box, it calibrated, I didn't have no problems, yes I did press the record button and the motor still went or the fan still went round but other than that it is super sick and I can't wait till when I've done the firmware update and everything's working superb and I'm going to be showing you the footage that I create. And I'm also going to show you my actual crane and show you the difference of what a crane is to what this is. And it's just simple. It is simple, simple, simple. Like innovation, what DJI have come up with. I'm super impressed. So the handle's right, really nice and grippy. It's not waterproof. It's got a plastic sort of handle. The handle could be used with the X5 and the X5R and obviously the Inspire X1 and it can obviously be used with the Osmo as well. So this is, and you obviously need an adapter too. And to get it out, you've got a locking mechanism here and I could just click it like that to the red um, indicator and then I can pull this up and it's out and it's got a chip underneath and then I just put it back in and then I lock it back into place and as you can see it's not coming out well that was lucky because if it came out I'd be really whew, crying <laughs> but I know for a fact the microphone's not very good on here but oh well uh, so stop recording right so that's what you kind of can hear and let me just stop this for a sec so that's the sort of uh, sound you can hear, which is clear enough to understand what you want, but it's not clear enough to do proper video production with. So I'm going to help all of you out there that want to know about how to do a bit of video production or get the most out of your videos or photography. And I want to know how this could be a game changer for the photography sort of elements, because I'm used to holding the camera and then obviously pressing a button at the top. Now obviously this hasn't got aperture, but the X5 and the X5R have. Links in the description down below to see all the accessories and the X5 and X5R. But anyway, I want to just make sure that I can help all of you out there and get your best shots that you can for the video. Now I use normal cameras for all that and I use a crane and I use a slider and all, everything like that. But this is a handheld little device. Now you can't get really any shallow depth of field but you can an X5 and X5R because you've got aperture and you can literally mess around with the lenses as well and get different focus uh, lengths which is really cool this is just like an everything's all in focus but it's really cool because you still can do all your pans and oh, there's so many things you can do you can stick this on a car but anyway what I want to do is show you the tripod setup so I'm going to show you that right now as you can see got the tri uh, tripod legs out rubber ends there and it grips the table grips any surface it's slightly raised it's cool then I've got the actual extension rod and this is how this works is that you twist it uh, to unloosen it and telescope it up and when you want to lock it into place you twist it again so I'm gonna go up 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 so it's about four foot and then I'm gonna twist it and it's locked in now you're wondering like, okay, if he's done that, well, what's the point of that? How can he move his camera wherever he wants to move it? Well, at the bottom here, where I can see very clearly that I've got this little device here. And I can swing this around and I can see all my footage. Plus, I can hold the screen and I can move the actual camera just by seeing what I'm looking at on the screen. How cool is that? DJI, you think of everything else. All right, so I'm gonna get this little device down. Right, so I'm twisting it, twisting it, and where am I? I'm down to my level now. Well, actually, there's my level there. Right, so now what I can do with it as well is obviously this is really good. This is like um, a double shoe mount, and it's got gears on it that locks it in. Uh, so after I've screwed it in with this um, nut, I can use this uh, nut 
and then screw it down to the actual gear and then it locks in and it doesn't go anywhere it's like superb then if I want to move this around there's so many flexible ways of doing things now obviously I forgot to tell you that you can move the gimbal or the handle like this and you can get some really really crazy shots now this is why I want to make Osmo videos so I can show you exactly how crazy you can go with making shots just with this now Obviously it's going to be over a long period of time, but the next video that I bring out is going to be obviously showing this actually working and showing you tips and tricks. But any ideas that you want me to go through, leave the links in the description down below and I'll happily get back to you and I'll definitely put it in the video. So I hope you like this review, because if you like this review, drop down a like or subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you didn't like it, dislike it. But leave a comment down below, and I'll always obviously answer your uh, questions, and hopefully I can make the video better for you, or more enjoyable. And that's what it's all about, is making videos for all of you lot to enjoy. And if there's any information tutorials, I'll do them, but I want to make sure that you understand them. So... See you in the next one, and thanks for watching, and definitely subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, how are you going to know there's a second video?